I state your name. I Lorna Rina Bautista. Have you been elected as? Having been elected as Senate President for Temporary. Do hereby solemnly swear. Do hereby solemnly swear. That I will well and faithfully discharge. That I will well and faithfully discharge. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. The duties of my present position. The duties of my present position. And of all others that I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines. And of all others I may hereafter hold under the Republic of the Philippines. I will support and defend the Constitution of the Philippines. And I will support and defend the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. That I will obey the laws and legal orders. That I will obey the laws and legal orders. And decrees promulgated. And decrees promulgated by the duly constituted authorities. By the duly constituted authorities. And maintain true faith and allegiance to the Republic of the Philippines. And maintain true faith and allegiance to the Republic of the Philippines. That I impose this obligation. And that I impose this obligation voluntarily, voluntarily without mental reservation, without mental reservation or purpose of evasion. For purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, excellencies, officers, and staff of the Senate, it is with great honor that I accept the Senate President pro tempore position. I am truly humbled by the support given by my distinguished colleagues to lead this August Chamber, which I consider my home for 18 years. Maraming salamat pong muli sa mahigit 24 na milyong Pilipino na nagtiwala at nagbigay sa akin ang pagkakataong muling maglingkod bilang four-term senator. When I first entered the halls of Congress 24 years ago, I was just a novice in the political arena hoping to make a change in our country. My exposure to our society's ills as a young journalist led me to take on the role of a public servant, a senator of the Republic, and I have then vowed to work tirelessly to find solutions to our country's problems. That was way back in 1998. I was all of 38 years old then. Today, I stand before you as a most senior senator. Having come full circle with 18 years of experience in the Senate and three years of experience in the House of Representatives. Indeed, it has been a fulfilling journey but our sojourn has not yet come to an end. Hindi pa po tapos ang ating trabaho. Over the last 20 years, we have enacted laws, programs, policies. We have forwarded, supported, contributed to advocacies that better our country. From peacekeeping negotiations and humanitarian missions to the pandemic of present day, we have continued to forge on our commitment to assist those who are in need, to the vulnerable, underprivileged, and deprived. Sa ating pagbangon mula sa pandemya, iisa lamang ang ating layunin para sa ating bansa. Magkaroon ng pangmatagalang kapayapaan. Wakasan ang kahirapan. Ituloy ang ating mga programa para sa mahihirap at makamit ang pambansang pagbangon at pagunlad. We have advocated for green development, having authored laws, on environmental governance, protection of the environment, conservation of our natural resources. Having traversed the country and learned about our rich cultural heritage, we continue to support projects that promote and showcase the exceptional skills and the world-class products of our indigenous people, our culture betters. Hindi rin po mawawala sa ating mga layunin ang mga programa sa kalusugan, edukasyon, trabaho at kabuhayan. Ilan lamang po ito sa mga advokasya na sinisiguro natin mapupondohan nung tayo po ay uh, nanilbihan bilang chair ng Senate Committee on Finance at hanggang ngayon. We introduced and sponsored vital amendments in the budget allocation for various sectors to ensure that the national budget sponsored socioeconomic services providing subsidies for free public tertiary education, additional funding for state universities and colleges, free health care services in government hospitals, free irrigation services for small farmers, budget for social welfare programs, increased funding to support rural livelihoods, and micro, small, and medium enterprises. The pathway towards pandemic recovery is through the economic empowerment of every Filipino. 
That means supporting our MSMEs, 99.51% of the country's businesses, and are responsible for an estimated 5.3 million jobs or 62.66% of the country's employment, bolstering the efficiency of our health sector as part of our vital investments in our human capital by pushing for the full implementation of the Universal Health Care Act. My fellow senators, my dear colleagues, friends, we have a great deal of work ahead of us. It is not a cakewalk. We cannot do this unilaterally. And for this distinct privilege to work for you and to work with you, I am forever grateful. Thank you for this opportunity to serve as your Senate President pro tempore under the leadership of Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri as we steer the 19th Congress towards its objectives. Sa loob ng dalawamput isang taon, malawak na po ang naging karanasan natin bilang inyong mababatas sa mataas at mababang kapulungan. Malayo na rin po ang ating narating, ngunit marami pa rin po tayong kailangan gawin. Handa po akong salubungin ng buong puso ang bagong tungkulin na inyong iniatang po sa akin. Umaasa kayo na aking gagampan ito sa tulong ninyo para sa bawat Pilipino. I stand before you now, excited as I was in 1998, filled with hope. I may be the most senior senator in terms of tenure, not of age. And many call me Tita with fondness, but this Tita stands before you with the same determination to serve you and the Filipino people. Now, more than ever, we have to foster unity and good governance for a free, inclusive, sustainable, and resilient Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat po.